If you have Bootstrap set up locally and you can amend its SAS variables, then modifying Bootstrap's color system is surprisingly easy. In this short video, I'll talk you through everything you need to know about changing Bootstrap's colors. Okay, before we get started, be aware, I'm gonna be using a boilerplate that I've done a separate video about. You can find links in the description and I'll put a link right at the top of this video now as well. Click on it if you want to follow along, it's really easy to set up. Okay, with that said, I've opened up getbootstrap.com forward slash docs and I've clicked on customize and color. And this is the key part. Bootstrap's color system revolves around a SAS map called theme-colors. So let's have a look at that inside of the source code. I'm gonna go into my code editor. I'm gonna expand node modules and then bootstrap, then scss, and then underscore variables.scss. So whenever you'd make modifications to bootstrap SAS, this underscore variables file is what you're targeting. And the theme colors map is near the top, around about line 80-ish. There it is there. So let's talk about what sort of amends you'd potentially make to these theme colors. First of all, you may just change the shade of blue. Or beyond that, you may want to have green as your primary. Or lastly, you may want to add an additional entry to the theme colors SAS map. So let's take all three of those options, starting with the easiest version. Now, just to reiterate, you need to have SAS set up so that you can make modifications to Bootstrap SAS. Now, I can do it because I have this boilerplate installed. If you don't use a build tool, then you'll likely have to look for a plugin inside of your code editor, and for me, that's VS Code, but somehow you need to get your SAS recompiled. Okay, I'm gonna expand SRC, and my SAS is imported inside of a file called main.scss, and I've set up a custom variables file inside of a subfolder called abstracts underscore variables dot scss. So there's the abstracts and there's the variables. So let's just say for the sake of this video, we want to set a different hex value for blue. Now I know blue is the default color or the primary color. So let's see what we can do with that. Now I already have my parcel dev server running and inside of there I've placed the button. So as soon as we make a change to this blue, we'll be able to see it. So back in our code editor, the file I'm gonna work with is underscore variables.scss. The key part here though, is that you import your variable amends before you import Bootstrap's variables. And the reason why it's key, if I open up Bootstrap's variable file again, is that wherever Bootstrap have set up their variables, they've used this default. Now what this is telling the compiler is that when you come to create this, if a value doesn't exist for a variable called blue, then use this value. But because we import ours first and we set our value for blue, and I'll make it say just the color red so we know it's different. When it comes to, the, when the compiler reaches this line, it's gonna ignore that value. And that's how you override the, the SAS variables. All right, let's save our changes. Parcel will recompile our CSS. It's all good with the green check mark. And back in the browser, as you'd expect. Now, wherever primary is now used, we'll now have that red color. So that means, quickly looking at the components section, we've got alerts, we've got buttons, we've got a utility background color, and it may well be used in a couple of other places as well. Okay, so that's the first option. What about if we wanted to use a different color for our primary? So again, it's the same process, but we'd have to make sure that we have both those variables available. So let's look at where Bootstrap assigns the primary color. And that's around about line 70 for me. So it's this line over here. So let's just say we're not gonna change green, but we wanna reference green, and we wanna use that as our primary color. So the first thing we'd have to do is to set a value for green. And I'll take that one over there. I'll keep it exactly the same back in our own variables file. So we do that first. And then it's the same process as we've just done, except this time we're going to target uh, primary and we'll set it to the value of green. Now, if you don't have this, what's going to happen is the compiler will throw an error because this green doesn't exist. All right, save our changes. And now on the front end, our button will be green. There you go. Nice and easy, right? And now we come to the last way that you may look to amend it. What if you wanted to add something else to these available options? Let's say you're not happy just with primary, secondary all the way through, and you just wanted an additional custom value. Well, the key part here is that you target that SAS map that I referred to at the start of this video, theme-colors. Now we're gonna use straightforward SAS map amends. Now how map amends works, and I'll show you an example, is first you set up your own custom map. And if you don't know SAS maps, think of it like an array where you have a key and you have a value. So let me uncomment this code. 
and then you target the SAS map that you're looking to amend and you pass in the existing SAS map and the new one. So why are we targeting theme colors? Because that's what Bootstrap uses for its theme colors. So first we set up our own one and then we pass in the existing theme colors and that gets merged with custom colors. Now what this will mean is that when this is compiled, in addition to all the buttons we already have, we then have a new button called btn dash and whatever that key is. So in this case, dash custom dash color. And let's test that out. I'm gonna open up index. Here's all of our buttons. And next to this dark, I'll create a new button and I'll change that to custom color. Now I'll save all my files, we'll recompile. Well, we won't, our code will. And there you go, there's our dark, which is now our, our BTN custom color. And that's it, that's how easy it is with the right setup in place for you to make modifications to Bootstrap's color system.